wasn't Xavi and it wasn't Iniesta because the three of them felt honoured to be up on that podium. Spain, outside of Barcelona, was a little bit disappointed because, of course, they'd hoped that they were going to get their first golden ball since uh, Suarez in 1960, and uh, they were pretty convinced that it was going to be either Iniesta or uh, Xavi. Gazzetta de la Sport, of course, was also convinced that it was Xavi and said that in December, but it turned out differently. Puyol, the captain. In fact, I don't think he is the captain tonight. There's his armband. Uh, giving the golden ball to Messi. It was interesting in the in the huddle before the in the warm up that it was actually Xavi who was giving the uh, the talk in the huddle, but uh, Puyol the captain tonight. And Leo Messi lifts aloft his head, 7.4 kilograms of solid gold, and it's of course the second time he's won it. And he is the youngest player to win it twice. And 23 years old. Who knows how many times he's going to win it from from now on in. Everyone that loves football. We'll hope that uh, many more times to come. And the crowd chanting Barca, and it is all about, or it has all been about Barca. And fantastic that all three of them are in the team tonight. Now, will this affect... Teammates uh, as well. We're also now going to have a period of reflection from the highs of the celebrations to a low as they remember Angel... Pedrasa, a player in the 80s, only 48 years of age, died recently and will be remembered by the current Barca team. It's been him, but he's got a hairline fracture of his leg. Belanguer, the veteran defender, is out injured as well. Got a few injuries. It's his commitment as attitude individuals. Given away by Carlos Puyol, given straight back though by Isidoro. Giving it to a dangerous man as well, hasn't he? He is Lionel Messi running for the first time. And Pedro just behind Dani Alves. Good pressure there from Nacho, the, the left back in the cup games for Betis. They've got themselves out of a tricky spot very well. It's Messi and it's Xavi. And it's on to Villa, who's got Maxwell in support. Ignores Maxwell, beaten away by the goalkeeper Casto. Always a commentator's nightmare. I'm a big fan of the patch, and they, they, they've come into line, haven't they? Yeah. I know some fans Ooh. don't like it. I almost have they'd equal that. If they stay unbeaten tonight. Steen matches. It's incredible. Well, he's oh, done. Look. That's great ball. He's off. And he's onside. It's Messi dancing through, and an excellent recovery challenge made by Mike Roque. Well, he's done well, Mike Roque, because he's covered the ground quickly. Messi, I thought, could have got the shot off, though, John. Well, it's given away cheaply. 25 times champions. It's the 107th edition of the competition. Messi in again. It's Irene has grown his hair a little bit since the last time I seen him, but hasn't she oh. had them out to the edge of the box very quick as Messi breaks and then finds Pedro. That's twice his first touch has let him down and he can't keep it in. Best two players in the world in exchanging passes there. According to the, the judges at the Ballon d'Or, it's Messi. That's this at the other end. And they have to be careful, John. I'm watching, they're committing more and more players forward and they're leaving a lot of space at the back. And it's Dani Alves who's trying to exploit that. He's got Pedro in support, but he's got the pace, the willingness to go alone. He's found Messi. Messi slips. Not supposed to do that when you're the world's nope. best player. <laughs> that wasn't part of the plan, losing his footing. And there's Arthur. Pedro's asked a few questions of the referee. I can't see anything wrong there. Well, it looks like he's fallen over something. Castro is not the regular league number one. Barcelona B playing the same division as Betis, by the way. Messi again. Beautifully weighted for Dani Alves. Good pressure by Nacho, he's got to get it away, he's oh. been dispossessed. Four o'clock. Messi first time, he knew exactly where Dani Alves was. A little toe in front players. The movement starts from everybody in those Barca shirts. Maxwell over the top to Messi, who gets it down. That pulls a really good save out of the goalkeeper. And then the shot on the follow-up from Pedro. 
What a save from Castro. That was. I don't think he knew an awful lot about it. It was just pure instinctive reflexes. But great skill, great build up again, and it's waved. Center halves and the full backs. There's the shot. Great, great save from the goalkeeper, Castro. Spread himself well, and that's all he can do. Always two legged affairs, by the way, Spanish Cup games until you get to the final. Messi is through. Lovely footwork again from Messi. But they were quickly around him. Here's Messi. Irene quickly in on Alves. Irene caught in possession by Messi. David Villa. He's onside. Messi picks up the rebound. And he was checked there. And he goes back to give the free kick for the, the first infringement. I thought there was a second one by M Mickey Rocco, slightly further in. Picked it up a lot of times, tries to link up with Veer again. Veer goes to Messi. But they've won it back. One of the keys to Barcelona, isn't it? How quickly they win possession back. They're very alert, very alive, and pick up a lot of loose balls, the 50-50s. Oh. That's not Pep Guardiola style. If he was injured, he would train, wasn't he? I think probably mm -hmm. as a result of the, the row between PK and Alves. I don't think it's a mess, it's going to be a cross. It's a pullback to Iniesta. Tries to fight Messi again. Look at the movement here from Barca. It's popped up right in the air. And is it going to be bundled in? If it is, it won't count anyway. <laughs> yeah. Not the sort of clinical finish. And it's on his right foot now, to be fair. And the keeper was there. Here come Barca. 90 seconds left of the first half. They'd love to go in a goal up. David Beer and Iniesta. And Messi is waiting. Messi's got it. And Messi has dinked it into the back of the net. Wonderful, wonderful Barcelona again. Well, that's why he's the Ballon d'Or. You give him chances like that, and he'll show you the quality. And they, they, they've worked hard. 43 minutes has taken them to break them down. They've hit the post and they've tested the goalkeeper. But when you want the quality of the final couple of minutes of the match, this little man will deliver it. Super build up, the passing was excellent. And you, you watch, he's looking at the goalkeeper coming out and he, he, he clips it and bends it at the same time. He dinks it over the keeper and he dinks it away from him with a little bit of swerve on it. There's the pass from Iniesta. He's well on side. First touch, head up. There you go. Dink. And nothing they can do about that. Fabulous play from Barcelona. And I think you have to say they deserve a 1 0 lead at least, John, don't they? Well, Betis have done well to hang on for almost all of the first half where all the pressure was going one direction and that little Messi's 29th goal of the season that's all so far I can't believe he's only got 29 so he's 11th in the cup competitions yeah 18 in the league he's, he's a long way behind Ronaldo now he's on 23 Barcelona a bit of a game but they couldn't hold on throughout because Messi best player in the world is in the team and he's the difference at half time back up again I think they will uh, but it's not over yet and it'd be nice if Betis could get a goal and that would really make it Messi peels off to come deep it's took so much more time than anybody else Alves charging again he was ignored that time by Xavi as he goes again the flag then is raised Again, they just take it short, they get it moving, you know, get it moving to Messi, towards the run of Iniesta, Iniesta across. Plenty of work to do still. Here's Messi. Oh. Left it behind him, of course, but oh, beautiful by Iniesta. Vision to know that Maxwell was there. Is there a finish? Went the direct route to goal, the Brazilian, to corner. Good advantage fair by the referee. Betis are working hard to get back, they'll have to get back because Messi's charging at their back line. And little scoop ball over, it's Danny Alves, on in turn for Xavi. And the shot by Maxwell. There's Messi, the goal scorer tonight, in this quarter-final first leg. Good play. Pedro to Danny Alves, Xavi's in the middle, taken away from him by Mickey Roque. Well, there's a loose ball 
Barcelona sees on it with David Villa, and he's found Messi, who swivels in the penalty area. Messi again, it's crept in, it's two. It's heartbreak for Betis. They really have fought Barcelona tonight, but they just can't stop Messi. You watch this quick foot movement here, and the goalkeeper's frustrated because he does brilliant on the first one. Messi's quick feet, he gets two touches in the space of time that most players get one touch. And he's got that double shuffle to change the angle and get a shot in all in one movement. And the goalkeeper saves it, but he picks up the rebound. And it, again, quick feet and bang, he gets a shot in. And it goes the other side of the goalkeeper. He's looking over his shoulder, hoping the defender's there to clear it. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out. There's the pass from David Villa. There's the two touches, and then he has a quick flick. And then look at that, it's through his legs. Defender's gone to the near post. The, the far post's wide open. Through the legs of the keeper, and in the opposite part. It's brilliant. A little bit of misfortune from Betis, his point of view, but I just think Barcelona worth the second goal. And two for Messi. 30 for the season for Leo Messi. 12 in the cup competitions now. I think that would have been the, the least powerful of his shots. I was talking to Kevin Keating last week about it, and it, I think it was 30 something goals. It took, or sorry, it took him to uh, March to get on to 30 odd goals. And uh, he's going to be on 30 goals in the next week, isn't he? Well, he is on 30 now, 33. It'll probably take him another game or two to get on to 33. Could be there in a minute. Here he, here he goes <laughs> oh. again. It's messy. Good goalkeeping by Casto. We're almost tempted fate there, John, weren't we? <laughs> he had that header. That was well saved by Pinto. And Hyundai was caught in possession. Messi's on the hat trick. Spread it out to Danny Alves. And Messi will check inside, Iniesta, options as ever, includes the world's best player, the second year in a row, Messi, here's Iniesta, Quite dances free. between a couple of challenges and a deflection and then a flag up against Messi. Because Betis... And the earlier guys as their top flight team broke the world transfer record, didn't they? And they signed onside. Oh, here's Messi. Messi accelerates away. He's onside. He's on a hat trick. And that's the end result. Three for Barcelona. Three for Messi. Yet another hat trick for the world's best player. Well, he's the last one you want to have on a one on one with the keeper. And just like I said earlier. Ronaldo got a hat trick at the weekend. He thinks, well, it's time I had a hat trick. He's enjoying himself, isn't he? Well, let's have a look at it. He's he's running along the line. He's watching and watching, and then he bends it. And he's onside, through, head up. What's where's the keeper? Where's the keeper? Then he sticks it in the opposite corner. Once he knows where the keeper's going to go, and he's leaning slightly to his right, the goalkeeper. So Messi puts it to his left. So quick the feet. Balance is superb and the finish is excellent. And uh, well, it's business as usual for Lionel Messi. 31 goals for the season, John. And counting. Got six hat tricks in 2010. <laughs> <laughs> Names of the goal scorers celebrating his award, the Ballon d'Or, for a second consecutive season in style with another hat trick and it He's could on. be another one Messi away and through for his own fourth of the night Messi is denied credit to the goalkeeper he didn't go down quickly that time the goalkeeper there's a little bit of exchange of words between the two of them leg to come as well a goal now for Betis and it puts it back into the balance at 3-0 you wouldn't really fancy them would you no oh, it could be four. Danny Alves is away and through Messi's busting a gut to get with him. Go, goes himself. It's Pedro, and it is four. Floodgates are opening now, and Barcelona are pulling away. This tie's over now, John, I'm afraid. Danny Alves is cracking a few jokes. A oh, good tackle from Puyo. And here's Xavi. Wide open this game now. It's Messi. Score of three goals tonight. 
not where Xavi wanted it. He's just about to point, and Messi had already played it. Well, Athelay's going to come on. Ooh, that's trouble. And it's Messi. Messi looking for number four. A lot of the problems now for Real Betis are mistakes on their own defensive third, giving the ball away. You can't do that. You can't get caught in those positions. Twists and turns, Arthur's experience, I think. His energy level is just incredible. Oh, he's it? a great athlete. In a team that can pass the ball so well, he's a real asset. Oh, he's on. It's Iniesta. Is there support enough for Iniesta? He scoops it towards Keita for number five. Oh, I'm sorry, Neil. You were wrong, mate. It's 5 0. <laughs> In La Liga. It's the end of Messi for the night. Started the night by collecting the Ballon d'Or. And he goes off with a hat-trick to be replaced by Jeffrey.